Sue Origin epitomizes Elon Musk's sharp response to recent maneuvers by his arch rival Blue Origin. The comment brims with biting sarcasm directed at a company renowned more for its litigious tendencies than for fostering fair competition in the market. So what exactly has Blue Origin done to provoke such outrage from Elon Musk? What drives their actions? Let's delve into this on today's episode of Alpha Tech, uncovering the motivation behind these contentious moves. Recently, Blue Origin, led by Jeff Bezos, filed a fresh lawsuit against Musk's SpaceX, urging the Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, to review the Draft Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, for SpaceX's Starship vehicle at LC-39A in Florida. Just last week, SpaceX and the FAA collaborated on an environmental study report for future plans involving the colossal Starship rocket. Following approval from both the FAA and NASA, the report is now open for public opinion over the next 45 days. However, Blue Origin expressed dissatisfaction with this outcome and promptly submitted a scoping commentary outlining their objections. Their filing strongly emphasizes SpaceX's proposed actions for Starship. Starship, a launch system currently in development by SpaceX, comprises the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy booster. Towering taller than the Statue of Liberty, the system has flown only four times, with just two successful flights to space. During a previous launch, it generated heat and pressure equivalent to a volcanic eruption, as described by a physicist, and scattered soil and sand over a nearby town. Once fully developed and operational, Starship Super Heavy is poised to become the largest and most powerful launch system on Earth. According to the filing, the Super Heavy booster has the capacity to carry up to an unprecedented 5,200 metric tons of liquid methane for propulsion, a capability that Blue Origin highlighted may create qualified distances for safety margins potentially overlapping with operational sites of other companies, government facilities, and public areas. Expressing concerns about Starship's potential environmental impact at Kennedy Space Center, Blue Origin urged the FAA to consider imposing limits on the rate of Super Heavy's launch, landing, and other operations to minimize environmental consequences locally. However, the filing did not specify a precise number for these operational caps. Blue Origin expressed concerns in their filing because they they conduct operations in close proximity to SpaceX's activities at Kennedy Space Center. They noted that their large manufacturing site and multiple properties are located all within the vicinity of SpaceX's leased Launch Complex 39A, where Starship operations are planned to take place. The filing also emphasized potential risks to the safety of personnel and assets at nearby sites, citing concerns about explosions, debris, blast, and sonic boom overpressure, as well as air toxic toxins associated with these Starship Super Heavy launches. According to Blue Origin's submission, SpaceX intends to conduct up to 44 Starship Super Heavy missions annually under a NASA lease. Indeed, SpaceX has solidified its position as a leader in regular orbital launches, conducting nearly half of the world's orbital launches last year alone. The Falcon 9 rocket, for instance, soared to new heights with 91 launches in 2023, a significant increase from its previous record. Looking at Starship, SpaceX has ambitious plans for this colossal rocket, aiming for substantial launch frequencies. However, these plans aren't just about breaking records. They're driven by practical needs. For missions like a lunar voyage, SpaceX estimates that between 10 to 18 launches might be necessary for a single mission. This underscores the necessity for maintaining a high launch frequency, which could end up to 44 launches per year as outlined in their plans. Yet, capping SpaceX's launches below this frequency presents considerable challenges. Blue Origin, in response, has proposed additional infrastructure measures to mitigate risks to other nearby launch providers. They've also suggested that SpaceX should be liable for compensating any losses caused by their operations, highlighting broader concerns over safety and environmental impacts. It seems like SpaceX's ambitious plans and rapid expansion are stirring reactions from its competitors, such as Blue Origin and ULA. These companies have voiced concerns, possibly indicating a shift in dynamics within the aerospace industry. This situation prompts us to consider the competitive landscape and how SpaceX's advancements are influencing long-standing rivals. What are your thoughts on this evolving scenario? Let's discuss in the comment section below. Your engagement and support mean a lot to us. To drive us to the deliver insightful content daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. In response to Blue Origin's antagonism, Elon Musk took to Twitter, or X, 
firing back with Sue Origin, which continues their long-standing public feud. Musk further criticized Blue Origin's actions, labeling their response as obviously disingenuous and condemned their repeated attempts to hinder SpaceX's progress through legal means. This recent clash adds to a history of legal disputes between the two companies. In August of 2021, Blue Origin filed a complaint with the United States Court of Federal Claims, challenging NASA's $2.9 billion contract award to SpaceX for the development of the Starship HLS Lunar Lander under the Artemis program. However, the court dismissed Blue Origin's complaint on November 4th of 2021 marking a legal victory for SpaceX. This incident underscores the adage that the winner acts while the loser litigates. Going further back in 2015, the companies clashed over a patent dispute concerning the method for landing rockets on sea platforms. These episodes reflect ongoing tensions and competitive dynamics within the aerospace industry where legal maneuvers sometimes accompany technological and commercial competition. The outcome remained unfavorable for Blue Origin as the U.S. Patent Trial and Appeal Board issued a decision to invalidate the remaining claims in their patent. Blue Origin subsequently withdrew their claims, effectively acknowledging the failure of their lawsuit. Even United Launch Alliance, or ULA, despite celebrating the successful launch of their first new rocket just five months ago, has faced legal setbacks against SpaceX. In 2014, ULA encountered controversy for using Russian-made RD-180 engines at inflated prices, impacting U.S. political dynamics and government budgets, thereby increasing taxpayer costs within the U.S. Air Force's procurement program. Overall, the grievances raised by companies like Blue Origin and ULA are primarily aimed at impeding or restricting Starship operations in Florida. These objections encompass a wide range of concerns, from health and safety issues to environmental impacts and potential disruptions to the local community. However, when these claims are contrasted with the reality of Kennedy Space Center's long-established status as the world's premier launch facility, they appear unfounded. Launch Complex 39A, the proposed site for Starship launches, was originally designed to accommodate rockets even larger than the legendary Saturn V. The facility's capabilities far exceed the requirements of current launch vehicles, including Starship. So what exactly do Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance want? Their requests seem to boil down to two self-serving objectives, limiting competition and securing government funding for launch infrastructure. Both outcomes would conveniently bolster their market position and financial interests. While achieving all their stated goals is challenging, the appeal of this strategy lies in its cost-effectiveness and potential for substantial returns. With just a few hours of legal consultation to research and draft these documents, Blue Origin and ULA have set in motion a process that could yield significant personal benefits. Moreover, their concerns likely stem from SpaceX's rapid development in Florida. Presence of Starship at the Florida Launch Complex threatens to overshadow all rocket companies in the region, potentially diminishing public and investor interest in their own endeavors. In summary, while environmental considerations are valid, fairness and fostering innovation in space exploration should be paramount in competition. The actions taken by Blue Origin and ULA are unnecessary and have the potential to cause significant delays to critical upcoming space programs, such as Artemis 3 in September of 2026, which aims to return humans to the moon. As China accelerates its efforts in the lunar race, it becomes increasingly crucial for SpaceX, NASA, and other agencies to ramp up the frequency of appearances, launches, and tests of Starship. This acceleration is essential for fully developing the necessary systems and preparations for this pivotal mission. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time.